We've What's up guys? Everything. Welcome back to the channel. Now, this is actually a pretty different video. A few of you wanted to see what my diet looks like, what an MMA fighter's diet looks like, and I'm going to show you how it looks like today. Now, it's mainly focusing on a ketogenic diet, and remember, what works for me may not work for you. If you're a girl, you alter your diet a little bit differently. The way that I have my things set out and the way that I'm hitting my calories, proteins, and everything like that is suitable for me. So if you're gonna try this diet, alter yours a little bit. If you're bigger, alter it. If you're smaller, alter it. You understand? Now if you come over here, most of the stuff that I cook now, I'm a pretty amateur when it comes to cooking. All right, come a bit closer. So I use this machine here. This machine honestly saves my life. Like. It has got many, many options and it cooks everything on the one grill. If you're an amateur and you don't really know how to cook and all that, I recommend using that. Now to stay a bit more productive and normally in my time of day, I'm coming back from training, I've got PTs, whatever. I try and smash out everything in the morning. So I'll try and cook all three of my meals in the morning, set it aside so when I quickly come back in the house, eat, get out, yeah? So first things first, we're gonna turn this machine on and we'll start off with the fish and leave it like that. Awesome, so as that's getting prepared, I will come over here and I'll start getting everything ready. So, with the salads and the salmon over here. One more thing I forgot to say. For most, most of the meals, I have chicken breast, I have salmon, and I have five star lean beef mince. Now, as I get closer to the fight, the amount that I'm having will be reduced. So right now, I'm having 150 grams of each, but as I get closer, the amount will get less. Let's start with the start with the salads, okay? So with the tomatoes, guys, I just chop them in half. We've got these pre-packaged tomatoes over here that you get from Costco. These ones are pretty big because they're the other ones, but we've got these smaller ones here that I generally like to use because it's more easy and convenient. So real quick, guys, with the fish, we want to quickly marinate it. I'll take it out and I'll put it into the bowl. So I like to use this Grillmates seasoning. As you can see on the back, it is very good. It's got low calories and it's pretty good on the carbs, proteins, and the sodium levels, which is what we mainly look for in the diet. So now we just mix this around so it gets in each other. Nicely marinated, so it's super scrumptious. Now as we're doing these diets, guys, like, and we get closer to the fire, I'm not gonna be using as much seasoning, salts, or whatever like that, so, it gets pretty grim as you get closer to the fire. You get more cranky. The food begins not to taste as nice, but it's all part of the part of the lifestyle. Then we'll cut the cucumbers. All right, putting the cucumbers into the bowl, sliding them in there. Put the lettuce. So your salmon's now ready. Awesome. Thanks for telling me that, honey. <laughs> when I chuck my salmon into the machine. I like to first come over here. I like to use the Goliath non-stick and baking pans. So I'll grab my salmon, come over here. I'll lay it out here and I'll try to chuck it onto the middle portion. One perfect piece, two perfect piece. Awesome. I'll fold it up, grab both hands and I'll stick it onto the glue here. As soon as it's on, close it. Now me, as an amateur, I have no idea when the salmon is perfectly cooked. So as you can see, there's lights on this machine. Because I'm a dum-dum, it tells you when the salmon will be cooked. So if you want it rare, medium, well done, so that if you're cooking steak or whatever. But with the salmon, we generally want to go to the yellow area, which is the rare. So in that meantime, as that's cooking, I'll continue to do my things over here, making my salad. The lettuce, slide it into the pan. Next, we get the rocker and dill. Cut them all up. It's messy, but that's the fun of it. Everything gets messy. Your mom kills you afterwards, and that's fine. Come onto the plate. All right, next, we'll go on to the onion. I'm only going to use half because honestly. Onion, cabbage. Oh, I'm fine. All right, I accidentally call this onion. I meant cabbage. <laughs> so we'll cut half of it because I don't want to use all of it. I fucked up there, but it's all right. And be careful when you're cutting, guys, because I just cut myself then. Right, next into the salad, put red beans. I'm gonna put a spoonful of the red beans here, guys. Then I grab these olives over here. What, what are they called? Kalamata olives. This honestly adds like a really nice taste to it. So I don't mind the olives. So real quick, as we can see, the salmon's ready. We click power off, we lift it up. Now come check this out. <laughs> as you can see, it's glizzing. Glizzing with perfection. I made that all with my hands. I'm gonna bring it over here. Yeah. 
you can see, I'm still bleeding like a motherfucker, but it's alright. <laughs> so in the next phase, we'll go back over here, and because I'm doing all three at once, I'll straight away get the next one ready. So we'll go here, power on, and we'll go straight to chicken, because chicken's the next one. And we'll wait till the machine prepares itself here. So as that's getting ready, quickly marinate the chicken. Put that aside, yalla, get out of here. And we get the chicken, putting it into the plates. So we use chicken meat marinating phase of this part. Just glaze it up nicely. All right, guys, we had a small intermission here. Because I'm an idiot, I sliced my finger up. I covered it up with some camouflage, camouflage bandage. You can't even see it. You can't even see the bandage. It's camouflage. All right, the machine's ready. So we're ready to chuck the chicken into it. So we grab the chicken over here, opening it up. One thing I forgot was the freaking baking paper. Otherwise, my mum will kill me because it'll get too dirty. So quickly open that up, laying out the chicken. Two. Folding it up into the middle, close that down. Now with this one, I'm gonna do it when it's orange. This is the last thing that I add into my salad, and this is good because this contains healthy, healthy fats. Because I'm on a ketogenic diet, if I'm wrong, all the dietitians out there, I'm sorry. <laughs> but if I'm not mistaken, I'll be using fats as my primary source of fuel. So there's carbs and all that, which I'll get from like my my big meats, my chicken, and all that, but Main, my main source of fuel is my fats. So I'll quickly slice and dice this up before I take it out. I'm gonna be having two bowls of veggies today, but normally I have mushrooms with it, guys. So you can substitute that for that. And with the avocados, right now I'm using the whole avocado into the one salad. But what we generally do is we use half an avocado in the first meal, which is the salad, and then half an av avocado in the last meal. But it doesn't mix well with the beef mince. It tastes like shit. So I'm still hitting everything that I need to hit, but I'm just making it all in the one bowl. Beautiful, amazing, exquisite. That, ladies and gentlemen, meal one salad done. If you're wob, right? If you're wob, you already know. Like, you gotta open up if you're gonna feel my face. That'd be good. If you're wob, you already know. You see a beautiful yoga tub in your fridge. You go to open it up because if you like yogurt and there's just a bunch of random shit in it, yeah? Same thing with this, Wog parents, water bottles, they put their lemons in freaking water bottles. I don't understand it. Oh, anyway, and I'll just quickly lemon my, lemon my salad. As you guys can see, the chicken's ready. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> Turn the machine off too, but I'm gonna quickly bring it over. So because I've already got my first set of veggies ready, I can just get the chicken now. And we make sure when we're dieting, we don't waste one single drop of anything. It makes a big difference. All right. Now, I'll wrap that up. I'll put it in glad wrap and I'll put it into the corner. But don't worry about that for now. All right. I want to make it as appetizing as I can for all you all. So these guys are fresh veggies. So I'll generally do half. Because as I said, I'm having two sets of vegetables today. Now my mom always says, clean as you go. So as that's getting cooked and that's getting done, I'll generally clean up all the plates, clean up everything that's gone. So even like all this disgusting stuff, I'll start cleaning that and getting the next part of my meal ready. As that's cooking, as that's getting ready, we'll get into the next meal, which is the last meal, which is the beef mince. So we're over here, guys. Slide the onion in and we'll cut the capsicum. Slide the capsicum in. This part here, guys, we'll just spread them out real quick. We let this fry for a little bit and then we chuck the mince in after it. All right, so as this is getting made, we're gonna wait till the onions get turned into a more transparent color, so then we can chuck the beef mince into it. All right, guys, so if you want everything to caramelize and get the change of color very quickly, you'll add your oils and what, whatnot. But because I'm doing it differently, not as much salt, or rarely any salts, and rarely any oils, the process takes a little bit longer. So with this, just dump this shit in. Whack. From here, we want to mash it up, mash it and spread it up. Easy. After we've mashed it up, I'm going to leave it a little bit just so the color can change. So it goes from a reddish color to like more of a brownie glaze color. All right. As it's getting glazed and just as it's about to go brown, we're going to add the seasoning that we added before. This one here, has it picked it up good? Mm -hmm. You sure? Mm -hmm. They call me Christian Guzman, do you that know? <laughs> After we've added the seasoning, we're going to give it all a good mix, so it mixes up all into each other. Now guys, remember, I'm not like the craziest cook, yeah, so if I can do it, you can do it. Also, as you're cooking this, you want to ensure that you don't see any pink, yeah? We don't want to get sick, start, have bad stomach ache and whatnot, but we want to make sure everything's cooked. Guys, I'm an idiot, 
So I've already cut my finger, my finger, my finger. I don't want to burn my hands, so make sure we use a cloth because it's hot as shit right now. Okay, pick it up. Bring it over here. Take this knife out. Bang, don't stab it. Last plate. Now remember, this has normally got mushrooms, okay? But because we ran out of it today, I just substituted it for normal veggies. As I said before, we want to make sure that we get every single drop. Are you getting me in it? Get me in it, get me in it. No one cares about the fucking food too much. They care about me, come on. <laughs> Fuck. All right, so that's all done. All right. My mom cares about the food too much. She's too much of a foodaholic or whatever the word is for it. Alright guys, and boom, these are my three meals. This is meal number one. I'm gonna tape you or the meal, I'm scared. It'd be great to tape me in it too, remember? <laughs> Shit. Anyway, this is meal number one. This is the salmon and salad. This is meal number two, which is the veggies and chicken. And then this is meal number three, which is the five star beef mince with either the A, mushrooms, or B, you can use the veggies as an alternative. Other than that guys, my normal scheduling for this is I'll go do my first exercise fasted, so I won't eat this before I do my first workout. No water, no food, or anything, very minimal water. When I come back from training, which is normally around 1 o'clock, um, I'll have the first meal, this one, at 1 o'clock. Then around 3.34, I'll have my second meal, and then I'll go to XFC, train, do all my exercise. Once I get home, which is about 9.30 to 10, I'll have my last meal. So this guys is the diet of an MMA fighter, of an up and coming MMA fighter. Now obviously, as I grow and I start diving into different diets and I try testing new things out, it changes, yeah? It's not bad to implement carbs. People think that carbs is bad, but this is what I've done in the past and this is what works for me, yeah? So in the future, who knows? My diet may change, because I do know that there's other ways to diet. But this, for now, as a 21 year old up and coming MMA fighter, this is my diet. Another thing I failed to mention to you all is that I try to drink at least two to four liters a day of water, right? I carry a big bottle like this around me because I find it more motivating. I don't like having the 600 ml water bottles. It's just annoying to me. When I see it like this, I try to legit scull as much as I can. Uh, during fight week, I try to drink at least eight liters, at least eight liters. Because leading up to fight week, leading up to the fight, just before you weigh in, you want to deprive yourself of water. So you want to lose all that water weight. But leading up to it, I try to drink at least two to four liters a day whilst I'm doing these meals. I hope you guys can take some great feedback, great information, and maybe implement your diet. Yeah, send me messages if you have tried this diet and you have lost weight, all right? Other than that, my name's Carl Smith. My beautiful mother is behind the camera. And this has been my diet video. Thank you for watching.